Arkansas, but leaving through Texas to uh, Oklahoma, we had a car accident. I tried to miss some deers. It was early in the morning, like 7 in the morning. Mm. And so there's a lot of livestock on, on, on the road. And I was slowing up, slowing up, slowing up. Then eventually we stopped. I got me some uh, honey bun and, and, and milk, you know, our diet, the honey bun and milk. So I grabbed <laughs> that real quick. I got back in the car. And then, I, and then she asked me how far are we from Interstate 4. And I said, we're not too far now, maybe 10 to 15, 20 minutes. So when we got back on the Interstate, the reason I'm saying this is because it's very, very valuable in the information. Because when I got back in the car about one or two miles down the road, that's when it happened. Mm-hmm. So when we swerved, swerved from hitting the deers, and I went all the way down the ravine. My phone was in my pocket. So when I called 911, I told them exactly where we were. Mm-hmm. And they, because it was like, how you know where you're at? Because I told them I just up the gas station, so I'm not too far from it. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then we had to get ourselves out of the car. The car caught on fire. And instantly, when the seatbelt pulled me downward in the car, I felt my legs was like me feeling on someone else's body. Uh, so, yeah. And I thought it was severe pinched nerve because I had that feeling before when I was sitting down too long and your legs get numb and like, okay, I can't feel anything. But I felt that. And um, my wife's foot was stuck on the right of me. And my daughter was behind me. All of us in seatbelts. Okay. So she had, um, so we had to push her out the window at the back. My wife was still stuck. We was trying to pull her foot out. When we got her foot out, we got her out the window, and I had to get back through the back seat, through the back of the car, out of the back side, at the back, out the trunk of the car. And then we had to slide ourselves in a little manhole because the car had caught on fire. Oh. So we slid, we slid in the manhole and stayed there until some people came down the hill when to help us out. They yeah. pulled us up the hill, and then they already had a, uh, a helicopter back um, waiting to take me out. Car yeah. Was, yeah. Nothing left of the car. Yeah, it was nothing left. The car, car burned up. Um, but my wife, my, my daughter, she left out with a, um, a broken, a broken wrist. Okay. And when my wife, she had a broken jaw, broken collar, collarbone, Ribs. two broken ribs and crushed her ankle. Yeah. Were you wearing uh, a seatbelt too or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was wearing my seatbelt also. Mm. I was so wearing my seatbelt. So how long, so. how long was it before you started training or was it, did that obviously help with your rehab? <sighs> yeah. Well, we went to uh, Baylor. Baylor Medical, um, they, they, they checked me out, T11, T12, they fused it and put rods in it. And um, yeah. then they put the shell on me, you know, uh, yeah. for the heal itself. So, yeah. you know, yeah. was it a dog spite in my life? I mean, I think the biggest thing was I had an older son named Bam Bam. He's, he was nine, nine at the time. And um, him and his cousin, which was the same age, they became inside my bed. Mm. And his cousin was like, you know, they already saw me, you know, working out bodybuilding a pro NGA bodybuilder before. And he and he he asked me, um, are you OK, Uncle Laverne? And I was like, I'm OK. Are you OK? And I asked him, was he OK? And I asked my son, are you OK? He said, yeah, as long as you OK. I said, I'm good. And then they went off, start playing. And right, right then and there, man, I mean, honestly, right then and there, when I really lay back in my bed, I'm like, if they're okay with it, I'm going to have to be okay with it. So let me figure out what I need to do. Hmm. Wow. I mean, right, right then and there, man, I mean, and that point right there was a pinnacle point too. I'm, I probably was like, what am I going to do now? A little bit, a little bit, I'll, I'll you know, straddle on the fence throughout the whole period until that point. When they hit me and told me, asked me, you know, say if I'm gonna be okay, they'll be okay, and they start playing. I'm like, okay, so what do we do now? Yeah. Let's go forward. Yeah. Let's, let's ride.